How to start a UGC business and find brand deals for user-generated content. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the steps to follow in order to start a successful UGC business and how you can start finding deals with different brands to create UGC content. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the steps to follow in order to start a successful UGC business and what you can do to find brand deals for user-generated content. If you don't know what UGC user-generated content is, make sure to check out this video from last week. We talked about what user-generated content is and why it's important and how you can start making money with UGC. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online business owners build a pipeline of leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with evergreen systems and strategies. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications on my weekly videos about online marketing, copywriting, email marketing, content creation, lead generation, basically anything to help you get clients online for your business. And don't forget to like this video for YouTube algorithm. In the last video, we talked about what user-generated content is and how you can start making money with UGC. In this video, I'm gonna give you the steps to follow in order to start your UGC business. So without further ado, let's start. The number one step when it comes to starting a UGC business is picking a niche. Make sure to pick a niche that is relevant to you and your interests and the things you know and your creativity. Also, if you're already experienced with one or two niches, that helps as well. I started creating UGC many years ago before there was such a term for it. And the reason why was because I was already in the travel industry. I was already traveling and I had a great knowledge about airline travel. So I decided, why don't I leverage this knowledge and the travels I'm already doing and create content within the travel niche for different brands. And that's how it started. I started writing blogs for them. I started taking pictures for them and some video content. That's how I started my UGC creation in the travel niche. And then once I started my agency, we started giving the service in the travel, beauty, wellness, business, and marketing niches. After you pick a niche, you wanna make a portfolio. If you don't already have any type of content that you can use in your portfolio, I would recommend you to pick some products or the services that you use in your life. I would create three to four different videos with different ideas and different purpose so that you have a selection to show when you're pitching to brands. If you're wondering about what type of content you can create for UGC, let me know in the comments below and I'll make another video giving you some user-generated content ideas. Make sure to show off your skills and make these few pieces of content very aesthetically pleasing so that it's gonna increase your chances of getting that brand deal. Once you create your portfolio, we can start. This is when you wanna start reaching out to the brands that are within your niche. There are multiple ways of reaching out to brands. You can use different platforms like Twitter or LinkedIn. Twitter and LinkedIn have been the main platforms for UGC creators to find brand deals because there are so many corporate brands um, and brands that are on Twitter and LinkedIn. And with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach out to the right department and the correct person. You can also reach out to brands through email. Make sure that you have the right department and the right person when you're sending out an email. The more brands you reach out to, the more likely you'll get a brand deal. If you wanna get user-generated content brand deals inbound, meaning if you want brands to reach out to you, I would definitely use the word keyword UGC in your social media profiles. And UGC with the niche of user-generated content you are actually creating. This is gonna help brands to make a research and come up with 
your profile. One of the common questions I get is how to price out the content. I will make another video about the whole pricing, but keep in mind this one tip. Don't tell them your prices before you ask for the brand's budget. You'll be surprised how many brands have so much money for content creation purposes only. So before you give out your prices, make sure to check with the brand how much their budget is. Let me know in the comments below, what other questions do you have about user-generated content? See you next time.